We're looking for a few good men, and we found them in Stolen Valor Village Idiots. Let's go. Semper Fi. Or you said Semper Fi. Yeah. I'm a Marine. How are you? Me too. What'd you serve? <laughs> okay. You say Semper Fi to somebody, you'd say, hey, thanks, brother, or Semper Fi back or something. Not, oh, yeah. Like, he's clueless. He goes, I don't speak Latin. Vietnam. Oh, shit, bro. 59 to 72. Wow. POW camp for nine months. You're a POW? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Hell, you fucking oh, oh, oh. Both sides, arms. Oh my goodness, sir. Bungee stick. Yeah. 800 times on both legs. Wow. Damn, sir. You know, if you're going to make up your POW, I doubt you'd be sleeping on the street. Because there is some extra benefits for POWs. Don't know all the ins and outs, but it's through the VA. Probably wouldn't be like this guy. Hopefully we'll see his face. Let's keep going. I served from 96 to 03. It's, it's, it's an honor to meet you, sir. I'm glad you served. Oh, you're the one that paved the way for us, man. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm damn, speechless. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, like, no. wow, man. Oh, my damn. My house wow. burned down July 3rd. I never thought I'd ever be in this shape. I went down to the VA to see if they would give me any help. They got a two-year waiting list. If you want, like... <laughs> you don't go down to the VA, right? So if he's got a disability that was connected to his service, right, in his service record, he probably would get some disability. He was in a POW camp, stepped on punji sticks 900 times. That's what he said. So, you know, he's probably got some lingering wounds from his service. So I would suspect he would get some disability because you just don't walk in and go, hey, I need some help, bro. Holding, you know, I, I can put you in. Well, I can. I, I know some resources you can use if you need them. Uh I basically got all the resources, but there's just no help, really. Yeah, I, mean, I know. A lot of the programs I've found, I, I just lost my house, too. Um, there was a program called uh, Social Services for Veteran Families. Uh -huh. And uh, they reached out to my complex. But my com now, the litany of programs is hard to navigate, especially if you're a drunk homeless guy. I suspect it makes it more challenging. But if you're a faker, it's probably really challenging. There is a lot of things out there for these vets. That's what pisses me off about some of these, the guys that are total fakers, and they're saying they're homeless. So it takes away from the guys that are truly homeless and need help. I don't care if you're a veteran or not. If you need help and you're homeless, it's only a finite amount of money to go around. And these guys steal it, pisses me off, right? They refused to help. They wouldn't sign the paperwork. Um, other agencies I've, I've contacted, they seem to be, they will be out of funding until either September or uh, Johnson in there and they were drilling they had a drill with a bit about that long about that big around they were drilling through his kneecaps and why he was uh, screaming and hollering and I was next in line and then I heard that Huey coming in I, you know there's nothing that sounds like you know, yeah they're loud as hell yeah, there no nothing on earth that's you know can even come close to a Huey as soon as I heard that I knew they so there he goes with the sign, right? So he's saying veteran, homeless, USMC is where I think it is, real small letters. The problem is if you do meet somebody in the Marine Corps, it's not a huge service, right? It's probably a 20% of the Army thereabouts. So you're going to ask, maybe not ask, is Semper Fi, and he's like, oh, yeah. Like, he doesn't know, and now he's just talking in generalities, right? Watched a lot of Platoon. Full Metal Jacket and Apocalypse Now. So he's saying, I heard the Huey, man. You know that sound. They were coming for us. There were 15 of us got captured and four of us got out alive. Really? Jeez, man. I mean, there has to be, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'll make it a point to find out if there are, if what POW resources there are, because I know it's, it's, it's a different, I mean, you shouldn't be out here. No, you really shouldn't should. be. I mean, I, I mean, told them that down there. I said, you know, you can check my service records. You can do everything you want. It's not the it's not the VA hospital or the VA headquarters that's going to get you any help. What's going to get you help are the the external resources, the resources that are that are that are, like I said, either veteran or veteran or exist, yeah. kind of in the the exosphere of the VA 
itself. Okay. But, um, you know, saying the VA wouldn't help if you were a POW is just not true. Like I said before, the paperwork's a real big pain in the ass. And this is pretty current times. It's not like 1975 where the VA was a real shit show. And this kid's just leading him down the path. He's probably going to drop the bomb on him. Let's keep watching. I didn't know about that. Oh, God, there ha I'm trying to think. I, I, I'm trying to remember there was one something. Oh, they, well, they, is there any way like... They tore me up, man. I mean, they, they scarred me for life. I mean, they cut me in Jesus millions of places. Christ, and just is there... Laugh and laugh and laugh. Is there any way I could get in touch I, with you or I could... I mean, if you don't well, mind. No, I don't mind at all. I mean, I need the help. Uh, Monday, I'll be here again, uh, either here or in front of the CVS. You know, this kid's screwing up his panhandling. He was like, dude, you got to go. There just goes by a fancy car that could give him some dough. <laughs> and this kid's just taking his time and not handing me a $20 bill. So this guy's getting kind of pissed, I suspect. Yeah. Honestly, that's it. I thought I had a pen on How did you? Oh, I got cause my house on the other side of Maricopa. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no motels there. There's nothing in that town at all. You know, so I had to come up here and I had a little bit of money enough for a couple. All right. What do you guys think his real story is behind this guy? Because he doesn't strike me as a Marine Corps veteran who was a POW for all those years. Strikes me as a guy that's probably in a car wreck, potentially, or a fire. And now it's like, you know, Vietnam really can't ask any questions because the records were sketchy. They weren't really good till recently. It's not a lot of pictures floating around. So let's keep going. Weeks of, you know, staying in the motel rooms and that, you know, petered out. So. You know, Jeez, man. Yeah, you know. Like I say, I'll, I'll make it a point. I'm going to be meeting with a, a couple bets tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'll bring up your name and we'll, we'll see if there's something I can, I can get back with you on Monday. I'll find you and, and, and bring the information okay. I can to you, okay? Appreciate it, yeah. Right. Like Semper, I said, I'll be here. Semper or five, five, sir. I need to be here. Always. Uh, CVS. Is this that's all, that's all, the old, that's all the old stuff? That's the old stuff. Oh, you got the purple hearts and everything. Yeah. Hey, no one in God's green earth would wear their medals like that. You don't wear them on utilities. Guy looks like he's mentally ill. He's a captain. I don't know what those badges are for. Let's keep watching yeah, this guy. This one? this one is the combat, and that's the uh, Iraq service. Oh. oh, you went to Iraq. So yes. you served in the first uh, one. First one. First one. 2001. No, no, no. Iraqi freedom. The first one. Desert Storm. Desert Storm. Desert Storm. Wow. And then, and then the reserve. Well, no, we didn't have this uniform back then. We had the chocolate chip. Okay. But remember the old one? The old style? Then we went to this. When we went, the reserve they started coming up. <laughs> yeah, his patches are all jacked up. Again, you don't wear medals, BDUs. He's way too young to have been in Desert Storm. This guy, what a piece of work. Five different uniforms within, mm. the, within the past three years. They went to the tricolor. Okay. Then they went to the this, and now they switched again. But this Great. is it. Uh, this is when I stopped. This so where did you get commissioned out of to get that uh, the, uh, the captain the pass on your pass? The, 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 I got the commission when I went to college. I actually I spent a, uh, two years here in uh, what do you call it, um, Kingsborough Community College. Okay. And then and then I went overseas because my father uh, had a business. I went overseas, American Community Schools. Cool. From there, I, I got um, a Hellenic Air Force Base uh -huh. in Athens, Greece. And from there, they, they shipped me out to San Antonio. Okay. To the, uh, uh, what you call the officers. If you want, I have my ID. So you, you went to our, uh, your Air Force? Air Force. So did you go to West Point to get the commission No, 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 too? no, no, no. <laughs> West Point is, what you want to call it, is uh, Army. Well, he's somewhat educated. He knows West Point is the Army. Good. Um, all that shit on, he's wearing. I don't even know what it is. I can't tell. San Antonio, a lot of Air Force there. I could buy that. Let's see what he pulls out of his wallet here. Okay. Uh, uh, the Air Force is the Air Force Academy. Great. And that's in Colorado. Uh huh. I didn't go to the Academy. I went through college. Okay. And then uh, ROTC. Reserve ROTC, ROTC. Nice. 
Yeah, I mean, you don't have to show me. But that's a new no, no, I, no, that's cool. I know what that, the cops did do that, and that's good to, to know because there's a lot of people. Okay. Let know? me ask you something. Yeah. How many people mm -hmm. came to you today and said, thank, thanks for your service? Actually, I came from a parade, so I got a few. Oh, you came from a parade? Which one, Manhattan? Yeah, Manhattan. You sure you didn't get burned over there? Uh, burned? Yeah. <laughs> so wearing the fake shit? Uh, no. <laughs> this guy's... They go along with, I don't know who these vets are, I just can't imagine doing it. Like I said before in another video, this is kind of somewhat of a dirty pleasure to watch this because I'm listening and I'm trying to get into the story they're selling. But you know, when you look like this right off the bat, anybody's going to know they're screwed up. They're totally jacked up. No, we ain't wearing food, shit. You sure? Yeah. You, have you heard of a stolen ballot? What's that? Have you heard of a stolen valve? Now I can't hear. Yes, I have to heard of a stolen valve. Okay, ballot. let me... What is stolen valve? I don't need to see anything. Yes, I do. I don't have any of like, my paperwork or anything like, like that. If you'd like me to take it off, I, I will take it off. Yes, if, go if ahead. Thank you. Yes. But uh, I have the ID that I showed you, correct? No one's going to have paperwork with them. They're DD-214 that shows whatever medals you were awarded. Right? He's got a purple heart on. And you're not going to take it off. You're not going to have it the first thing. But if you did have it, you're not taking it off. But who would wear this getup? Have you guys ever seen somebody this far out of his element trying to pretend? Because I have not. With that setup, BDUs and medals. I don't need to see anything. Fine. If you want to, if you want to do shopping, finish your shopping. Yes. Do me a favor. Yeah. Take off your shirts. Put it on the card. Sure. Take off your whole thing, put it on your card, mm -hmm. and you may do shopping. Continue shopping. Thank you. <laughs> no one wears their dog tags out either. You're not hanging them out. And you try, I never wanted to wear my dog tags unless I have to. Mine were taped together because they jingle around, they get in your armpit when you're sleeping. They're kind of annoying. But you're not going to rock them out unless you absolutely have to. And I think as belt, with the new BDUs, I don't think that belt's used anymore the more I look at this image. You know how disrespectful, disrespectful this is? If I had the paperwork, I, I A memory sure day? To I don't need to see anything. Take off the, take off the, the dog text so you never serve, obviously. I have the veteran's card. I don't care. Put it on here and pay for your shit and get out of the store. You know, he probably got the veteran's car like Times Square, one of those novelty shops. What he showed didn't look like the new VA card. It's different. It's got your picture, it says the service connected, and it's got your branch of service insignia. This doesn't look that old. I've had that card a long time. I don't know what he pulled out of his pocket. Memorial Day. How disrespectful. So which out of this group of idiots did you think was the best faker could win the Oscar for Village Idiot Stolen Valor Award?